Management of Deaf Child Who are deaf children, and why should they be identified early? Children with profound, greater than 90 decibel hearing loss, or total deafness, fail to develop speech and have often been termed as deaf and mute, or deaf and dumb. However, these children have no defect in their speech-producing apparatus. The main defect is deafness. They have never heard speech and therefore do not develop it. In lesser degrees of hearing loss, speech does develop, but it is defective. The period from birth to five years of life is critical for the development of speech and language. Therefore, there is need for early identification and of hearing loss and early rehabilitation in infants and children. It was observed that children whose hearing loss was observed and managed before six months of age had higher scores of vocabulary, better expressive and comprehensive language skills than those diagnosed and managed after six months of age, emphasizing the importance of early identification and treatment. Assessment of auditory function in neonates, infants, and children demands special techniques. A. Screening procedures. They are employed to test hearing in high-risk infants and are based on infants' behavioral response to the sound signal. Arousal test. A high-frequency narrow band noise is presented for two seconds to the infant when he is in light sleep. A normal hearing infant can be aroused twice when three such stimuli are presented to him. Auditory response cradle is a screening device for newborns where baby is placed in a cradle and his behavior including trunk and limb movement, head jerk, and respiration in response to auditory stimulation are monitored by transducers. It can screen babies with moderate, severe, or profound hearing loss. B. Behavior Observation Audiometry Auditory signal presented to an infant produces a change in behavior. In other words, alerting, cessation of an activity, widening of eyes, or facial grimacing. Moro's reflex is one of them and consists of sudden movements of limbs and extension of head in response to sound of 80 to 90 decibels. In cochleopalpable reflex, the child responds by a blink to a loud sound. In secession reflex, an infant stops activity or starts crying in response to a sound of 90 decibel. C. Distraction techniques are used in children 6 to 7 months old. The child at this age turns his head to locate the source of sound. In this test, the child is seated in his mother's lap. An assistant distracts the child's attention while the examiner produces a sound from behind or from the side to see if the child tries to locate it. D. Conditioning techniques. Examples of this technique include play audiometry. The child is conditioned to perform act such as putting a plastic block in a bucket each time the child hears a sound signal. Each correct performance of the act is reinforced with praise, encouragement, or reward. Speech audiometry. The child is asked to repeat the names of certain objects or to point them out on the pictures. The voice can be gradually lowered. In this way, hearing level and speech discrimination can be tested. The test can also be used to examine the child's expressive ability when he is asked to name the toys like horse, duck, or objects like cup, plate, etc. E. Objective tests. These tests are ideal for hearing assessment in children as they give results without the need of cooperation of child. Names of objective tests include 1. Evoked response audiometry. 2. Autoacoustic emissions. 3. Impedance audiometry.